Hi there Transform fans, this is Kids of Flap 1313 bringing you another video review and this time I've got for you the Transformers Prime R.I.D. Voyager Bulkhead. Now obviously this is the second bulkhead, or third bulkhead if we're counting the Cyberverse line, uh, but the second Voyager bulkhead I've got. Um, and this one is in a way better and in a way... There's certain parts that are good, certain parts that are bad. Um, or need it, or could do with the other one in order to make it a little bit better. But we'll go through them as we go through. The overall vehicle mode is pretty damn good. Um, it looks basically the same as <clears throat> the other Voyager, but uh, a little bit smaller. Uh, Basically, it, it, it's almost deluxe size to be honest. It's like a deluxe size bulkhead, which turns into a Voyager. Um, it's actually, just realised it's got some clip points here. So if you've got some of the clip point guns, you might be able to actually attach them. You can also see that it has on this thing, oh, and it's quite neat underneath. Very symmetrical on both sides. There's two holes here. They come into play in the uh, the robot uh, mode, but there's only one peg, which is up here. And it does come with two accessories, um, other than just having a little round um, wrecking ball sort of thing, you actually get this contraption, which uh, is basically, you can see there's a tail light here, so it basically looks as if this is the back of the car, and this thing has just come out of it. Um, now, again, I've taken the batteries out of here just to avoid any corrosion or anything like that, but basically you pull it, and it will then light up, it'll sort of click and then light up. But if you get it at a good speed, it'll actually spin around. There you go. So instead of having a wrecking ball, it's a disco ball. Um, but apparently as well, I've, I've managed to do it just once. You can trap the gears in order to stop it from uh, going back on itself. But uh, it, it, it takes a little bit of doing. A little bit of doing. I don't... Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Uh, but you can if you want. Just mess around. I just kept doing that and then all of a sudden it just locked in place. And I was just like, oh, there we go. So uh, the gears do sort of lock, which is in a way good, in a way bad. But there you go. There is that wrecking ball accessory. So there we go. And it also comes with this thing. Um, sort of like a meat pulverizer. Um, it's even got the little spiky bits on here. They're not as sharp, but if you put them against your skin, you do get. A p it's like a it's like a Transformers stamp. You're not going to be able to see it that well. Um, oh, there you go. You can see it there. So you can see it's like a stamp. Um, sorry, I'm not self harming myself. Don't worry. Um, but uh, it's got two pegs on there, and it's also got a pe uh, it's a peg holes here, and then a peg here. Um, and you can just peg this on top of <clears throat> the car like that. So um, when you click the light, it'll actually sort of, tro well, partially light up some of the car, which has the clear plastic. But if you want to add both things, um, is there any pegs? Oh, there is. So you can either have this thing on top, and then this plugged into the side, like so. Or you can have this plugged in and then this on the back of it, so you can have that sort of thing. Um, or if you want, you can lift that off and just put that on the front one. Entirely up to you. You can just make any combination you want. But uh, there is two weapons, so we'll just put them off to the side for now and we'll get on with the robot mode. So the robot mode is actually, to be honest, pretty similar to uh, the other Voyager. The legs are at the front, the arms are at the back and will swing around. Um, the doors and this become the the tummy if you want. The head is stored on the roof. Um, there's a back panel. This figure, well we'll go through it, but uh, and he's got chunky wheels as well. Which is locked for some reason. Oh, there we go. Also, it rolls pretty well as long as you've got it on a carpet surface. Uh, having it on a wood or laminate floor might not get the right traction unless you're pushing down, you'll get the movement. But it's up to you. Um, so anyway, uh, transformation. Uh, flip the silver tab down, you're done. This is this is the... Ro no, I'm joking. Um, 
Just you could actually, to be honest, you could flip that down if you want during the uh, vehicle, or you can actually just put it up there. Um, up to you, up to you entirely. But just flick that down. Uh, next thing you want to do is just come to these side bits and just give them a pull down, and they will untab. Do the same on this side. Give it a wiggle if you want, and that will help to uh, unattach it. Then you just move these down slightly. Um, this thing will then be on this sort of contraption, so you just want to put that wherever for a moment. Next thing you want to do is come under here and just grab the legs and use them to pull up this black bar thing. So unlike sliding it out down, I think it was downwards on that angle, um, you just rotate, uh, bleh, flipping it. But it won't go any further, so that's ideal, isn't it? It sort of stops itself, which is ideal. So next thing you want to rotate the legs around and then you want to flip the green parts of the feet down and they'll sort of you'll sort of find that it will merge into one and that's where you want to keep it so do the same on this side just get it to merge and then you can get go come under here and get this toe piece and then flick that do the same on this side you'll hear a load of clicking just means it's going into place you're not breaking it so don't worry that's that so then he's got his little stubby legs and like ratchets they're actually also on a sort of angle so they're not going to be together they're going to be more flat out and they're ideal for posing if you really want to um, so flip the front of the car down uh, is there any pegging? yes there is there's a small peg section here which will go into this hole well, there's a little bit higher, uh, peg that in and then basically you're sorted, that will stay in there. Then you want to come to the back and you want to just unattach the door from this thing. So lift this up all the way, uh, do the same on the other side as well. So lift this up all the way. Uh, the arms are stored under here so you can pull them out, they're joined together so just make sure to give them a split and then just pull them out a little bit more. Uh, then you, what you want to do is just grab these doors as well and swing them around onto the belly. Let me do you a favour and just lift the camera up. <coughs> so grab the door, which is slightly attached to the roof and the other piece. So just give it a wiggle and it'll come out. Rotate it around. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, th this is the beauty of this figure. You can have the doors where you want them. The joint is sort of on a little angly thing, so you can have the doors wrapped around here if you wanted to and give him a bit more of a bigger belly. Um, or you can just have them up up there. It's entirely up to you, it's your choice. Uh, then you want to do is just come to the side and grab these parts out and just sort of poke them up like that. Uh, and then rotate this round, do the same thing, flick it up so it doesn't get in the way of this thing because otherwise you're in trouble. Um, then gr just rotate these down and flip them out to the side. Make sure not to pop the joints on the thing you just swinged out. Do the same on this side, avoiding that section. Making sure you get it to the right place. Rotate this part round so you get the sort of bicep, <coughs> bicep rotation. Sorry, I'm coughing a lot. Um, do the same on this side as well. So just grab the section, turn it round, flip the, the hand out as well, give him a... so you can see he's coming together now. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to flick this whole back section all the way down like that and this will... there's a peg or sort of section here which will go into a hole right there. So just rotate that down, peg it in, it'll click in nicely. Uh, next thing you want to do is just use the little tab that is here and just rotate his head down and around. You'll hear that click. Uh, and then you want to grab these parts, open them up, and then you want to rotate them around so the black part is visible rather than the door section. And just place it over his shoulders to give him that shoulder pad. Do the same on the other side, flip it round, then open it. This one's got an Autobot symbol, so you can see he's an Autobot. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is Voyager Bulkhead 
from the RID line. Now, like I said, this figure does have his benefits and his negatives. First being, I really, really like the the way that the feet transform. Very similar to what the um, the other figure, but a bit more simple in the fact that you don't have to, when transforming it into vehicle, you don't have to rotate the legs into the actual feet section. Um, the arms are pretty cool, a um, bit monkey-like, but uh, I, I can live with that. I quite like, you know, it's pretty cool. You got some. Uh, Really great articulation there. A lot of joints due to the uh, due to the transformation. Shoulder pads are good as well. I like them. Um, the other the ones on the Voyager more like just came out and they were there. Um, these ones I like a bit better. Whether they whether bleh, whether they are uh, cartoon accurate is another thing, but <clears throat> I like them all the same. The chest section is a big improvement. However, there is still that little bit of. Um, there's a little bit of the bulk missing from bulkhead. Um, the other Voyager had a hole, and I just wish you could take these parts and move it so that it's not on this figure and on the other one to cover that hole to give him the roundness of his belly. Because at the moment, this guy is flat. From the front, he does, I mean, you could sort of maybe extend them out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, but it's not going to do a lot for him. To bulk him out a lot. Um, the 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 um, front of the truck does help, but not a hundred percent. Another thing that's not a movie ac uh, movie accurate. I keep saying it. Um, prime accurate sort of thing is these wings. I I cannot remember him having wings, uh, or you know sections of the th the car here. I mean, th th see, this would have been brilliant for these bits or some of it to come wrap around again and come underneath here to form a belly section. That would have been amazing. Um, of course, I think you can actually take these. Oh no, no, they're pinned in, so I wouldn't. You can't remove them. Um, although you could if you just want to keep him in this form. You don't have the um, popping in and out section here for the for the other Voyager, and there's plenty of pegs. I think yeah, there's a grand total of three pegs. So you're taking the one from the vehicle mode and putting it on his back, so he can have a um, back mounted weapon. And then there's two in his arm. Uh, and then one on either side of his arm. So you can, if I just show you, you can either have the mince meat mincer on his arm, and it actually connects to the arm pretty cool because it actually looks as if it's coming out. Again, I like how this line makes it look as if it's just come out of his arm. And also, it does look a bit like a cannon if you think about it, like an arm mounted cannon, which is ideal. Um, if you want a mincemeat cannon, but you know, there we go. Uh, so you can put that there, and then also if you want, you can peg this in here. Um, but I don't like the fact that it does that to the figure, and it makes it slightly top-heavy, to be honest. Um, which is concerning. Um, and you don't have that fa the fact that uh, it's transforming in out of his arm. You can, if you do want, though, plug it into his arm. But, uh, again, this looks ridiculous, um, and just doing that, he's got a huge arm. Uh, let me just show you this. So, and it, it, it doesn't peg in as well as I'd like it to. Uh, it almost touches the floor. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you, I, I, to be honest, I actually have put this off to the side. I display him with this thing because I really, really like it. I really think it's a really cool thing. Um, actually, as well, showing you a bit more detail, in here, um, when you get it, or probably if you've got it yourself, um, you, there's like a see-through plastic section in there with like what looks like springs, and it looks really cool when you've got uh, his arm move. And it doesn't move, but it just adds a little bit more detail if you're looking at it. Um, just make sure to keep his shoulder pads on. And one big feature, which I absolutely love, is that his chin actually moves. You can move his chin, so you can actually, oh, is that you can actually move his chin. So, um, you can actually have him looking down and his chin actually will get pushed down. Um, it looks really cool with this, and then you can actually have it going over his face if he really wanted to, um, and he just looks really weird. 
Um, but I really like that. It, you can make him look as if he's talking, you know, like... Blah, 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 blah. It's really, really cool. So, I really like... Actually, to be honest, you could peg this onto the back if you want, and have... Uber Mega Missile Bulkhead Man. Uh, no, nah, that doesn't work. But you could if you want, just to store it. <clears throat> but there we go, guys. So you get the bulkhead and you get the weapons as well. And that has been a review for Voyager Bulkhead for the RID line. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please make sure to subscribe for more of these. Um, I did say the Age of the Extinction line was going to be on Monday. It was going to be. However, it hasn't, and I've got none. They're not, e well, actually, no. They're not even in stores yet. <laughs> They're not in the stores in the UK. I'm guessing people are going to comment possibly and say, Oh, they're, they're out in the... Lovely, I'm glad. I'm glad they are. I want my Dinobots. I want them. I want a whole section of dinosaurs. Um... Hopefully they'll be out soon. I'm bet I'm betting they'll probably be out um probably two weeks time. I'm I'm guessing all of them for the first wave should be out. So I will be uh, giving a whole video and then doing reviews on Fridays, which will be put out. Um, but these will keep coming out on Saturdays just to catch up on all the ones that uh, we've uh, got to catch up on because there's still quite a lot of them. Um, and also, you know, comment down below if you'd like me to change anything about these videos, or just anything in general about the figure, what you like about it, what you don't like, have you got it, what do you like about it, um, anything in general, anything at all. And rate the video as well so that I know you're enjoying the series, because it really does help me understand what sort of series and how you like the videos to be and all that sort of stuff actually are. So for now, guys, that is it, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you again, and uh, yeah... I'll see you then. Goodbye.